呃，这个还是要呃，因为我是一个职业厨师，我首先我必须要啊，那个把中国的这个烹饪传统把它保存过来。我非常喜欢呃，到学校里面去啊，呃，到学校里面去，因为呢，呃，这个中餐的未来是不是在就是美国中餐的未来是在乎是吧？把这呃一些现在一些学生们啊，以及一些年轻人是吧，让他们的事情做一些改变。Mr. Cheng come to the school to share some of his favorite dishes and help the student learn how to cook it. And it is a wonderful opportunity to understand each other's experience and culture by sharing food together. I love how like he just cooks from the heart and he's very passionate about cooking and showing part of his culture to us. And I will like definitely recreate what he did back home so I can show it to my mom. 我希望他们呢，可能呢啊，主要是对中国菜一个基本的一个感觉，是吧？你现在他们要是，呃，如果是叫他们把一个菜做出来，可能有一定的难度啊。但是他至少呢知道啊，这个宫保鸡丁是个什么样的一个味道，是不是？这个武汉热干面，哎，是什么样的一个主要的，是吧？这个成分，是吧？我想他们有这个基本的认识，我就感到很开心了。So that's now spicy. This is gonna be spicy. Working with Mr. Chang, it's really cool to have someone that is a different culture come in and teach us his culture background and his hometown food. My mom is El Salvadorian, and my dad is half white, half Filipino. Dishes that my dad makes, such as like adobo, panse. Which are all Filipino dishes and、um, lumpia. Those main recipes, all those come from my great grandma that my dad tries to recreate as close as exactly how she makes it. But 当时在学校里上学的时候，就这个川菜是我们的啊教学的重点，我们学习的重点。那么希望我自己的家乡的菜呢，咱这主要是我是我外婆啊，是不是啊？我奶奶啊，以及包括我母亲，是吧？对我的这么一种啊那个潜移默化的影响，因为从小吃到大的，是吧？从小吃到大的一个特特别特别的一个感情。Cooking my grandma's recipes is it feels very special to me because even though I've never met my great grandma. It's nice to know that I have cooking to have something in common with her, and especially when I'm helping my dad in the kitchen. 那么我希望我们这代人能够影响下一代人